Hey guys, I'm Beati. And I'm Beati's <laughs> husband, Adam. <laughs> nice to meet you. Welcome to our home. Come in. Come on in. So this is a one-story ranch house that was at one point a Cliff May house. And I'm a huge architecture fan. We love the fact that it's one story, super cozy, and I think it's super beautiful. And we I hope, hope you, you do too. God, <laughs> see, see, she does it for me. We're huge fans of the Clements design who did the house with us. Um, this is actually the second home we've done together. And the furniture is very Clementsy. That's not really a word, but. <laughs> We're making it a word. It's kind of all super low to the ground. These super low coffee tables we think are so cozy and amazing with little tiny kids. It's nice because then you don't have to worry about them smashing yeah. their faces against the corners. I love these chairs. Yes. You know the chairs. What are the chairs? They're, I forgot. I'm going to say it wrong. Prouvé chairs. They're very Prouvé beautiful. chairs. <laughs> it's fun because the kids can kind of run on the lawn and we sit in here, listen to music when it's cold yeah. in LA. This is, like, <laughs> this is also ground zero for dance parties. Walking in the door every day is what we wanted to see. Rasheed Johnson is incredible. It's emotional and complicated, but also really beautiful. And so when you walk into your bedroom or you walk through the door, it's just a nice thing to look at and it kind of reminds you of a lot of things and I can stare at this thing all day. So yeah. I love it so much. I love you, Rashid. You're awesome. Kitchen time. This is where we live. We live right here. Yeah. This is just kind of like where Breakfast, we exist. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. When we have kind of more formal ones, we'll do it in the dining room that we'll show you guys later. And this is a friend of ours. This, this is a great thing. Um, our friend Sage Vaughn, who's an incredible artist. Uh, we've been, I've been friends with Sage for 20 years and we've always loved his work. And yeah. actually when the band made this last album, I was kind of looking for inspiration and things like that. And I just took a look at this painting and saw that it was perfect for an album cover. Because Sage is a good friend, he kind of hid little things for us in, in the painting. So you'll see, usually he doesn't really put African animals in it, but because I'm from Namibia, he did that, and then he rode Jordy um, in the cheetah. in the cheetah, which was really cool, and that's on the. And if you look and see the album cover, that's that's, <laughs> that's the album cover. I'm a big shoe head and a shoe collector, and and uh, these are, these are just original Jordan ones, and I love the aesthetic of like a worn out classic shoe. It's weird that it's in the kitchen, but whatever. We love it. We spend a lot of time in the kitchen too. That's why this island is so big. <laughs> this is where. Everyone always hangs out. So yeah, it doesn't matter how nice your house is. Um, everyone always winds up in the kitchen. So I say throw all of it into the kitchen. Yeah. That's that's where you're gonna be. All right. So this is the theater. We have movie nights here, like adult friends, kid friends. This is just like hang out, watch sports, watch movies. I mean, we have Street Fighter. We have Miss Pac-Man. It's two, a fun room. Two most important things. The kids. Huge Miss Pac-Man fans. These are also my favorite chairs in the world. They're so cozy. They are. And these have also come with us from house to house to house. We can't get rid of them. It's like so. being hugged by a bear. I know. This is where the, his awards go and his water. <laughs> I always look at these and I'm really amazed that we have them, but at the same time, that's like so silly. But, you know. It's amazing. It's, it's always a nice look into the past and it makes me nostalgic and keep them here so they're not too showy off -y, like <laughs> down in a room that most people don't see all the time because they're just for me. So this is like the office kind of makeshift little studio. I ended up recording a lot of the album down here, which is hilarious. Our friend Andrew Zuckerman is known for doing these incredible still photographs of animals. And be it that Beati is always trying to save the rhinos, which is her foundation. She, we thought it would be a really cool thing to have down here. You gave it to me for uh, my birthday last yeah. year, right? Yeah, it's incredible. And, but uh, it is cool that during this whole thing, you made so much of the album in a room like this. <laughs> I'm not sure why that pinata of me from The Wait. Voice is here, but uh, it's so that, good. that made its way. If you ever get angry, you just beat the shit out of it if you ah. want. Yeah. When you're a 10-year-old, 11-year-old kid and you're learning how to play the guitar, like Eddie Van Halen is just like, come on, you know. And he passed recently, tragically, um, and I wanted to try and find, you know, an old 5150, like completely jerry-rigged, bad, not original, not very fancy or nowhere. They're just, I wanted to have one because the way he did it was so, oh, thank you. Uh, the way he did it was so cool. And so I just wanted to like mess around on one and see what Ain't Talking About Love sounded like and it sounded good. <laughs> Here it is. 
The bedroom is a sanctuary of sorts, and it's nice because we do spend so much time in here, whether it's just the two of us or with the kids. or Everyone's jumping on the bed. Lots we still feel like kids, too, so I feel like this room feels really adult. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have like an adult and section. And I like it. <laughs> um, this is a Raymond Pettibone painting that I've always just kind of been blown away by what he does, and yeah. to, to wake up to that every morning is just like a breath of fresh air, and so... Very scary to be above the bed, especially in California, but we bolted it to the wall. Yeah, do not try this at home. Yeah. This is, is a dumb idea to live in California and have a painting above your bed. This is my domain, this is my closet, welcome. This, okay, like very shamelessly, the muse for the closet was basically watching the famous David Letterman, Kanye West interview, because I saw Kanye's closet and just started to drool. And I'm a dude, and I feel like a lot of guys just like want like sweats and shoes. So I decided to make my closet like basically sweats and t-shirts and shoes, because that's all I ever wear. Yep. Except for today, because I wore my you know, fancy, fancy stuff clothes. for Arc Digest. <laughs> Huge shoe guy, big Laker fan, the Kobe tribute up there. They just released what they said could be the last Kobe's, the undefeated Kobe's, the little gold ones up there. I'm probably never gonna touch those, just to respect it. Rick Owens day bad, this is amazing. deeply unnecessary to have in your closet. <laughs> In fact, I would even call it superfluous. If you don't know that word, kids, look it up. But this is never leaving, so it's never for sale. And this house isn't for sale either. So don't even think about it for at least a year. I love this bathroom. It's a dream bathroom. Um, have the tub and the shower in one. In the house before this that we were living in, there was this kind of wet room that was part of the house, so we built this in because we yeah. thought it was so cool, just like be in there. One, someone can be showering, someone can be, the kids can be in the bath, you know, whatever. It's just kind of like a party. It's like a party shower. <laughs> it's party really cool. shower. Party shower. <laughs> um, they I, usually try to throw the water. I'll close this and then like shoot me with a, with a water gun and they can't get me wet because, you know, I can close the door. <laughs> well, you can, and it's impossible to make a mess because everything exactly. can get wet in there. It's a wet room. Um, this is the sauna where I spend, I live in most of the time. Mm. It smells good. From the bathroom, you walk right into my closet, which is a dream come true. I think I cried. I mean, I literally will lay on this day bed and drink a beer, just have some quiet time for myself and look at all this stuff. And I'm like, holy. Also the years I've spent in fashion and collecting all my vintage pieces and now I can see them and it's really fun and I feel very blessed, so. We're in the dining room now where we dine. Very rarely. <laughs> we had Adam's birthday here. We're we had not, my yeah. birthday. Yeah, we're not too fussy about it, but when yeah. we have a big occasion, we hang in the dining room. We did plaster on the walls and the ceilings and the floors, which kind of softens everything. And I think the coolest thing about this house is the fact that it's a very, very, very modern house. But for as modern as it is, it's so cozy, and it feels like you can really live in it. So I think we really succeeded in that. And, and I'll we're, show you really, we're really proud. Sorry. 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 I was gonna show them my favorite room in the All right, house. this is Beati's favorite room. Love this room. I love how dark and moody it feels. I love the bar, obviously. Some um, of my favorite people, can I talk about that again? Yes, please. <laughs> Some of my favorite people on this wall. It's my wall of people I love. I love many more people other than this, but that's Bob Dylan. Miles Davis is whispering something in Steve McQueen's ear. That's an incredible picture of Pearl Jam that I love so much. That's an amazing picture of the Beatles. This room is fun too because we have this amazing outdoor seating area. We watch the Laker game, we make a drink, and then we hang out there and it's just really nice. This is for the grown-ups. This area. Grown up, yeah. No kids. <laughs> it's so rare to find a property with a big yard in LA. And so I think when we saw that yard, yes. like we had just tunnel vision for it and we thought to imagine our kids growing up here and being able to run around. There's a little dollhouse the girls have that's been here on this property for I don't know how long. We have a beehive. We have a beehive. Sam is in charge of a beehive. We had honey. Um, we have... We have, we have a, an awesome gym in a yoga studio yeah. that I spend like 99% of my time in. <laughs> we have a driveway there's, so there's you can drive your car down. into the driveway. <laughs> we have a refrigerator. And we have an amazing guest house. We have popsicles. We have a pool. And we have... Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> so thank you very much, AD. We had a wonderful time showing you our house. We hope you guys love it as much as we do. Um, but now, please get the f out. Get out! <laughs>